Hi and welcome to my channel. My name is Monica. I'm a Polish American living in Poland and in this episode I wanted to take you guys on my biking trip. Now it's already been a rough start to my morning because I misunderstood uh, the time that I was supposed to take the train. So now I'm waiting for my friends to come pick me up. So we'll see how the rest of this trip goes. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> All right, my friend came and picked me up. She saved me and we're just packing up all of our stuff and getting ready to set off. The weather is looking pretty good today, so we'll see. Um, hopefully we don't get too sunburned because it's going to be super hot, um, but yeah, I'm ready to hit the road. <laughs> of reasons why I love living in Poland but one of them is actually the bike culture um, there's so many places to explore by bike and lots of forests and country roads and biking is quite popular in Warsaw and other cities um, you can rent a city bike for quite cheap which is what I did when I first moved to the city and then this year I splurged on a better bike because I bike a lot actually this summer I've been biking to and from work and then after work or on the weekends like today I like to go and explore some new areas and oh it's a little windy but it's nice because it's hot and I'm out of breath but it's so beautiful look at this such a perfect day what more could you want it's free entertainment it's good for you. It's a way to clear your mind and just enjoy nature and the beauty around you. It's gorgeous here. Love it. I don't miss my car at all. <laughs> when my sister tells me how much she has to pay for repairs and for gas and insurance, I'm just like, nope. I just take my bike to the repair shop once a year. Any little maintenance here and there, it doesn't cost a lot. It's truly remarkable. I love living in Poland for that. <laughs> so far so good I thought it would be worse but it's so beautiful here and look at this little creek we're sitting at we're gonna take a quick break have some sandwiches have something to drink the girls are behind me it's really nice perfect day for a bike ride As much as I love Polish forests, the one thing I can't stand is the sand and it's really hard to ride your bike in it. I often fall and I call it Tokyo drifting over here um, because of all the sand and sometimes you have to actually get off and just walk your bike because it's impossible to ride over with just a even regular mountain bike. Sometimes you're basically on a beach in the middle of the forest. So just be aware of that. <laughs>
we made it into the cornfield. I hope we don't get lost in here. <laughs> but we do have to fix a flat tire. So quick break in the cornfields of Poland. It's about six o'clock now. We've been on the road all day, but it's finally cooled down and it's really a nice temperature and there's sunflowers and fields all around us. It's really quite remarkable. And this might be totally obvious, but I'm gonna say it anyway. If you really want to get to know a country, you should leave the city and see the farms, see the countryside. It's probably a really interesting place and you just need to remember that big cities, especially Warsaw, is not the rest of Poland. Warsaw is kind of like an island. The rest of the country doesn't look like that and you kind of have a skewed view on the country if you think all of Poland is like Warsaw. It's not, but it's definitely worth visiting all the farmlands and beautiful regions of Poland too. Another thing you might find interesting about Poland is the jałki culture. So that's basically when people have summer homes that they go to in the summertime away from the city and they do barbecuing and tanning and little inflatable pools and go down to the creek or the lake or wherever and just have a good time for the summer away from the city. They don't live there year round. It's just it's like a temporary summer home, uh, but a lot of people have them and they just spend time on their plot of land away from the city. Really cool. Okay, we're about 20 minutes away from our campground for the night. I think we're all pretty tired, but in good spirits. I think we're ready to celebrate a job well done. <laughs> survived the night yes sleeping in a tent man my neck hurts a little bit and my back hurts a little bit but i'm alive i'm okay i rested a little bit today we have over 20 kilometers to go back to our home base for now the weather is looking good but we'll see if it stays that way because today was supposed to be rainy all day so we'll see if that prognosis was correct and yeah, I'm loving this campground. It's so beautiful. We were hanging out in this barn last night, um, just talking and chatting. And then we also, yeah, the hot tub is right behind me with a beautiful view of the countryside. And the owners live in this adorable house. I mean, it's just the perfect place to rest after a long day of biking. So yeah, we'll see what, what kind of adventures await us today. Let's see.
that's the end of our trip. We are now in the river, cooling down and enjoying the weather while it lasts. I'm starting to see some storm clouds. Hopefully they will stay away and we can stay here until our train back to Warsaw. But I think this trip totally exceeded all of my expectations. I had such a great time. My friend did a really wonderful job organizing this. So I hope you enjoyed my video. I hope you enjoyed seeing another side of Poland that maybe you haven't seen before. And I really encourage all of you to get bikes and explore all there is to see in Poland. I hope you enjoyed this video. See you next time. It's time for me to go and have a nice swim. Bye!